Hello there Libra, welcome to my channel. I'm Annette. This is Intuitive Astrology and Tarot by Annette. And we're going to do your general love reading for the month of March 2021. Please like, share, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Feel free to leave a positive comment down below. And if you're interested in booking a private reading with me, there is a link to my website in the description box underneath the video. Um, please keep an open mind. Remember, the future is never set in stone. This is a general reading. Not every person watching um, will resonate with the messages that I'm channeling from my guardian angels and guides. So let's take a peek at love, shall we? For the month of March for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cusp. All right, here we go. We're going to pull an overall energy message here from the Oracle deck. And uh, you've got the minstrel. Let your intentions be known. Somebody needs to open up their pie hole and speak. Some of you uh, might be learning how to work with the law of attraction and learning how to pray and set intentions to attract what it is uh, you want. You could also be dealing with someone who's a musician um, you know, when you're dating people, you need to be very, um, intentional about the people that you're dating and what you, what you hope to find in a relationship, what kind of relationship you see yourself in. Um, somebody might be trying to, uh, flirt with you here. Let's see what else is going on in the love department for my Libras. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cusp for March 2021. All right, off the bottom of the deck, you've got the King of Wands. Here, here's our dashing, good-looking, sexy, fiery guy. He's the King of Passion. Someone's going to get up off of their dead ass and take action. He's a minor arcana version of the Emperor. Our buddy Carlos Spicy Wiener, the Knight of Wands. Well, somebody might be growing up here before they might have been a bit of a player. They were on the fence, in and out, treating you like a revolving door. Somebody's about to take action now. Somebody's holding space for you, or you're holding space for them. More fire energy, Aries Leo Sagittarius. And then you've got Queen of Cups. Her arm looks like it's really sore and tired. She's been holding up that cup forever. This is Cancer energy. Could also be Pisces or Scorpio, but Rider Waite says she's Cancer. She's got a lot of love to give. She offers reciprocal love. She's highly intuitive, loving, and nurturing. Can be a little bit moody when you get on her bad side, but... Um, She's really good looking here, and uh, somebody might make a move and take that uh, cup of love you're offering there. All right, and then we've got Justice. Here you are, Libra, right where you're supposed to be at this point in your journey. A decision is being made that's going to go in your favor. You were treated unfairly before. You've had a lot of people come and go from your life. You want someone who's going to take the initiative. And uh, take what you're, uh, what you're offering. Pick up what you're putting down. On the bottom, you've got Four of Cups. Your offer was rejected. Somebody's love is sitting on the shelf there. Somebody is not happy where they're at here. They don't like the options in front of them. If they would just, you know, stop pouting and pick up their head, there's the Holy Grail of Love sitting on the shelf next to the skull there. It's water energy. Somebody's bored. They're tired of the same old, same old. Underneath that is the magician. It's manifesting. Got the minstrel here too. Setting your intentions. Nine of swords, stress and worry, seven of pentacles. Divine timing here. Somebody is stressed out. Somebody feels like... They've done everything they they can. They've you you've used every every trick in the book, every skill that you have, and it's not working. But it's a matter of divine timing. 
you can't force anything. I know you're bored. I know you're sick of the situation. You're tired of it. But just take a step back. Look at everything. You do have a lot of abundance here. You know, everything might not have turned out the way you wanted to. So don't worry about it. Um, you're going to pull yourself up by your bootstraps here, Libra. And you're going to be successful. You're going to finally get the attention and recognition that you deserve. Someone is uh, getting out in the public eye here. Someone um, is coming back from a battle victoriously. It's fire, energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Gorgeous. And it's because someone is taking control over their situation. Someone's going to make a move here. And they've been a bit fickle and back and forth. But you need to be patient. Take your time. Don't overthink it. Um, you know, you, you're going to attract... The right person here but work with the law of attraction set your intentions make your intentions known to the universe and then sit back and allow them to help you and don't worry about it you can't manifest when you're stressed out and worried about it worrying is wasted energy all right let's let's clarify these pip cards and then we're going to take the rest of your story over to vimeo for an extended reading, and we'll clarify the major arcana. We're going to bring in some advice from Spirit and your love messages, and I will be posting the link down below for your convenience. But let's see first, why is this King of Wands here? Looks like somebody's getting their shit together and growing up. Might have been a bit uh, charming and manipulative before. Five of Wands, there's been a lot of drama, chaos, conflict, problems to solve. A lot of competition here. But you know what? The cream rises to the top and somebody's going to take action and uh, go for it here. Somebody might have had a lot of suitors because they're very charming and good looking. It's a lot of competition here. Fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sag. There's a lot of fire on this. For some of you, you've got a lot of stuff going on in your place of work or place of business. Why is this Knight of Wands here? There needs to be consistent action here. Yeah, coming full circle. Um, somebody wants to travel. Somebody wants to possibly move overseas. But it's also a success, successful completion to a back and forth cycle, an up and down cycle, um, and learning all of those lessons after every ending is a new beginning. Somebody now is deciding that they're going to stay put here because the world represents fixed energy. It's the collective. It's um, somebody could be flirting with somebody on the internet. The world can be the World Wide Web. Um, but there's an ending here, and we'll clarify that further in your extended. Why is our Queen of Cups here? Nine of Swords. Someone is emotionally stressed here. Um, somebody's, somebody's worrying. Cancers tend to worry a lot. They, they worry over a lot of stuff that doesn't matter in the end. Um, release that. Okay, love yourself. Trust your intuition. Somebody might be worried that their intuition is fooling them and it's all smoke and mirrors. But you got the Nine of Swords here twice. Why is the Nine of Swords here twice? Worried about money, instability, Queen of Pentacles, Queen Midas. But you know what? She's the minor arcana version of the Empress. She knows how to make the money. and she's, she's very practical, stable, and cautious. She's got one last stuff to give, and she's not going to invest it in anything that isn't um, going to serve her. She's very practical. So, so don't worry, okay? Why is the Four of Cups here? Four of Swords. Taking a rest. 
planning your, your next move. Something isn't working right. You're not happy with, with the options. And so you're kind of keeping to yourself. You might need to just take a break to figure it out. Um, keep, keep things to yourself. Um, figure, figure it out and don't share, share it with everybody else. Keep some things to yourself. He's been through a lot of battles. You also need to take some time to heal. Again, if you feel like you are taken for granted in your offer, whatever you're offering, nobody wants, you need time to heal and figure out a different way. You got what it takes. You got, you got all the skills you need to be successful, but you, you got to manifest it better. All right. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Wheel of Fortune. It's a matter of divine timing and things are going to move forward. Okay. You're wrapping up some karmic cycles, wrapping up some life lessons, and there's going to be some forward movement here. It's up to fate, destiny. It's Jupiter energy. Okay. It's change. Things are something's gonna change here. And you're gonna move forward. Alright. Why is the six of wands here? Getting some attention. Three of cups. Heading to a party. Did someone say party? It's the Three of Cups, reunion, celebration, get together, getting out in public. Some, some of you need to get out of the house because you're really stressed and worried. Um, you know, don't over, don't overindulge, but, you know, be practical. Um, but you, you need to get out with your friends. And I think you might be um, getting that public recognition and celebrating that. It's the birth of something new. It's beautiful. All right, Libra, let's take the rest of your love reading over to Vimeo. Again, I'll post the link down below for your convenience, and I'll see you on the other side.